This is question 5. We're told a geometric series has first term 5 and common ratio 4 fifths. We're asked to calculate in part A for 2 marks the 20th term of a series to 3 decimal places. We can use the formula book A sub n is equal to A r to the n minus 1. So we'll have the 20th term A sub 20 is going to be the first term which is 5 multiplied by the common ratio which is 4 fifths to the power of 20 minus 1 which is 90. So in the calculator now 5 times by 4 fifths which is 0 0.8 to the power of 19. That gives me 0. Point, and just writing this down 0 0.07205 dot 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 so we'll have now 0 0.072 and that's to 3 dp. So that's the first part done. In part B, for two marks, we need to find the sum to infinity. We can say the sum to infinity is equal to A, which is the first term, over 1 minus R, which is the common ratio. So we'll have 5 over 1 minus 4 fifths, which is 0 0.8. That's going to give us 5 over 0 0.2, which is going to give us now 25. So that's part B done. It says, given that the sum to k terms of the series is greater than 24.95, in part c for four marks, we need to show that k is greater than log of 0 0.002 over log of 0 0.8. Using the sum of n terms, we can say that this is going to be a, we'll have 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. You can turn this around, you can write it as a, r to the n minus 1 over r minus 1, if you like. So what we can say now, this is going to be greater than 24.95. So 24.95 will be less than the first term, which is going to be 5, multiplied by 1 minus the ratio, and I write it as 0 0.8, to the power of k over now 1 minus the ratio, which is 1 minus 0 0.8. So if we look at this now, we know that 5 over this quantity here is 25. So what we can say from here is that 24.95 dividing both sides by this 5 over 0 0.2 is going to give me now 1 minus 0 0.8 to the power of k. At this stage, I'm just going to write 0 0.8 to the power of k is going to be less than 1 minus this quantity. If we go ahead and find that quantity, we're going to have now, so 24.95 divided by 25, which is going to give us now 0 0.998. So 1 minus the 0 0.998. So we can say from here, 0 0.8 to the k is going to be less than 0 0.002. Taking logs of both sides, we're going to use base 10. We've got log of 0 0.8 to the power of k is less than, than log of 0 0.002. Bringing the power down, we've got k log 0 0.8 is less than log of 0 0.002. I'm now going to divide both sides by log of 0 0.8. Log of 0 0.8 is a negative number. If we look at it on here, log of 0 0.8 will give us a negative number. If we're dividing an inequality by a negative number, and you might want to make reference to that, we're going to have k is greater than log of 0 0.002 over now log of 0 0.8. I'm just going to write here log of 0 0.8 is negative, so negative, uh, therefore switch sign. Uh, I don't think we'd need to do that, um, but just to make sure we're showing that why this has changed round, we're dividing by a negative number. So it says now, uh, in part D, find the smallest possible value of k. So using the calculator, let's grab up the calculator. What we want now is the log. So log of uh, 0 0.002. And then we're going to have now on here, we're going to have log. So let's put this on. We've got log of 0. 8. So uh, log of 0 0.8, we can say from here that k has got to be greater than 27.85. So let's put this here. So k has got to be greater than 27.85 dot 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 and we need to give the largest. 
sorry, the smallest value. So we can say now that k, the smallest value now, if k has got to be greater than this, k is going to be equal to 28. So that gives us now our final one mark. So all we've done is evaluated this, k has got to be greater than this, so k is 28.